boys welcome today we're gonna be looking at some drift tracks in Assetto Corsa and the first track today is Osaka sideways we got 10 tracks to go through so all these are pretty good tracks for beginners and some are even pretty good for advanced players the car pack I'm using today is gravy garage I'll put all the links in the description as well I love how the trunk moves as well look at the trunk <laughs> It's pretty funny. So how would I rate this track? I think I would rate this 10 out of 10. This is a pretty good track, honestly. The flow is so good. Very good track for tandems as well, not just single player. So find the tandem buddy, get on Osaka sideways. We're gonna try to throw that 360. And here it is. Well, kind of. The next track, however, is Drift Weekend. And this is very aggressive track boys. I don't recommend this for beginners. Car is extremely loud. You gotta be like switching from second gear to third gear pretty often. And yep, as you can see, takes a lot of effort. There we go, a long hand break slide into second. <laughs> Looks very sketchy, I know. Oh my god, that car sounds so good. Especially when you're hitting the rev limiter there definitely recommend this map as well this is map number nine definitely check it out boys so the next map is motor park kojalin 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 something like that yeah man i remember this track we were streaming this live on twitch let's see if i still remember the lines oh god yep here we go man these cars are so crazy as well oh it even has these boxes on the ground yo you could like do a competition here hey that's pretty cool rare tires through the boxes this i don't think is like very beginner friendly it's quite narrow and these sharp corners can definitely throw you off and here is a very weird 180 corner you gotta like slow down early into first gear or clutch kick it hard and here as well you can either clutch kick or go into first for a second we could throw like a 360 here if we can let's see bam Woo! yo that was clean you can actually tandem here pretty well as well you just gotta give the leader space for transitions very solid map boys try it out you won't regret it we're gonna move on to the next map which is Tokushima Cartland and for each track I'm gonna use a different car as well the track layout is super good like here you can go straight as well but I'm gonna go here I'm gonna show you like two versions which you can easily do here there's probably more this is pretty good for tandems it's relatively wide as well wider than the last map right we went on the left but you can continue going straight here so like a little extra loop there and then you get back on the main road i'd say this is like so far one of the easiest tracks here it's just so wide very short lap as well easy to remember all these corners so pretty good for like low horsepower cars as well we're gonna park it here and we're gonna move on into map number six which is Cartodromo drift mania we're gonna be using this 180 here the pits are on the grass here which is kind of weird so you start here <laughs> but oh my god man i love this track so much when you do the whole track clean it's so rewarding i just love how this track looks like to be honest yeah this here you get a keep your revs up very slow corner but absolutely a blast to drift here little 360 attempt what do you boys think about that yeah okay I, that was a little early i should have done it a little later boys try out this map you won't regret it it's very good map now moving on to map number five which is sunrise circuit and look at this car we have wheels on top of the car yo that's crazy man yeah you can't really see ahead <laughs> tires are blocking the view there we go there's a there's a corner all these cars they are so good as well oh i just noticed we have neons as well yeah look at that the flow of this track is just it's so good i think it's like the best map for tandems to be honest we've been tandeming like crazy on this map it is just so good man hitting the rev limiter on this car feels so good sound is amazing all the smoke in the car man a set of cars are really something right we're moving on to map number four which is skid park and we have a nice little lexus here as well there are like zones here on the track as well so this track is a little more tricky and you can try to like 
like get these clipping zones and stuff look at that yellow zone here you gotta try to have your rear tire on there here you can i guess go two ways i go here to the right side and this place look at that full sand full sand boys this elevation like downhill and i should have just used third gear and i like these zones because you need to learn like how to position your car in corners like this is a very good track to learn that you don't just randomly position your car in the middle you try to take these zones you're gonna learn throttle control braking left foot braking all that if you get the hang of it it is actually a pretty good map for tandems as well like these corners they flow pretty good this was map number four we're gonna move on into map number three which is gonna be nakayama oh boy that is a crazy track <laughs> i wouldn't recommend this for tandems but solo oh my god and the car is crazy as well it sounds like a vacuum it just wants to vacuum stuff in very fast track extremely bumpy as well <laughs> i do like bumpy roads like it's realistic roads are not flat usually oh my god listen very wide this is not like a tandem track i don't think so it is so fast oh my god reverse entry kind of so this is more like a third gear map Ooh. oh my god the speed bro jesus <laughs> very aggressive map this one map has just made me sweaty so boys this was track number three we're gonna move on into track number two which is fresh coast drift and it is super narrow you're gonna want to use a very small car like the 86 i'm using definitely keeps you on your toes it's just so small <laughs> compare it to the last track which was super wide and fast this is slow and small but i love it i love these pink little flares or whatever they are do my headlights move as well oh yeah they move you gotta be very tight every corner yeah boys if you like small tricky tracks this is it try it out we're gonna move on into map number one which is hush compound boys and we have a crazy car here as well for this track this track however very good for tandems absolutely amazing the same dudes who made this track they also have hush cars some maps like they don't look that nice this however looks pretty good some random cones in the middle there <laughs> these very smooth corners absolutely perfect for tandem a lot of space also very beginner friendly so boys these were the top 10 tracks which i enjoy the most and boys if you enjoyed this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe as well and as always stay sideways